We are talking about relationships today on The Guy Dawson Show at the World Center of Broadcast Media, and I have Reggie Rogers. He is a a relationship coach for women, and he is the the developer of a of a workshop one man woman tours. And where'd you come up with that name? It's unique. Uh, actually, a very close friend of mine. Uh, we I had talked to about the, this concept that I had for ladies, and um, I, I I said I want to be the one. I want to be one man. All these women, and I want to just talk to ladies. And the next morning, she said, "I got a name for you. Let's call it the One Man Woman Tour." And so, we created the logo and came up with the name. And so, I can't take the credit for the name. I knew the concept in my mind, but she came up with the name for it. And you do live events where you have women who come and you interact and work with them to help them develop their um, relationship skills basically yeah what it is it's a little bit different you know again you have women that typically empower women but what what we do the book comes alive on stage so it's a show it's actually a show but it's a sh- while the show is going on the women are able to catch nuggets because i'm 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 up here presenting the book in a in a way where it comes alive there's interaction between me and the person that's on the audio musical play while i'm talking about certain things and so um what we're doing right now is we're actually revamping because we're adding two celebrities to this um the two celebrities that we're going to one is a famous singer she's going to open up the show with a song that's been created for the tour um, about a scorned woman and then the other is a famous actress and comedian she's going to come out and do a skit uh, about the book and women in relationships so she's going to do a, um, a a skit and then I come out and I make the book come alive and then we do a Q&A for the audience a Q&A and then uh, the singer comes and she had a, she, she's a Grammy award winning singer she had a number one hit um, and she's going to c- close it with her number one hit that was a, a, like a ladies national anthem and it was talking about the lady finally fi- finding a man and so it works really well how about the hiding apart sound great actually very creative i like it so music background and it's a part chinese guanxi it means a relationship you need these two characters we need on, to add another character you yeah, said you need it's on these two characters in chinese guanxi that means a relationship guanxi yes so, so how about i just add you to the tour and then now we can <laughs> we can, uh, we can <laughs> cover See, that with Quan. Back and get a job <laughs> let's just add you, you to the tour yeah. Quan, and now we just you know now we cover all of our bases yeah if you have that part is uh, like uh, in chinese uh, culture is yin and yang it's a moon yin yang, and the yes. sun and the mountain and the water you know they will go around together the best the way that's what we believe, right? Yin and yang together. So what do you think about the finance part in the relationship? What, what kind of a role finance play in, in the relationship? Well, if you look at the numbers statistically, uh, statistics show that the number one reason for divorces is finances. So, you know, and even before a woman gets married, they used to have a quote, no romance without no finance. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's very important. I think that as opposed to two people being actors and actresses because you know when we meet people we can put on and we act and we appear to be one thing but i think when you when you see that this relationship is a very serious relationship and the potential is there and it's definitely going somewhere that's when you need to have that conversation to find out my philosophy as it relates to finance and i need to know what your fi- your philosophy is as it relates to finance we need to um, spend lots of time find out. Need to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's ext- just extremely important. Um, am I you, am I the type of person that I like to pay my bills on time? Or are you the type of person that likes to pay your bills on time? But if you find out that I'm not that type of person, it doesn't make me a bad person. But what it does is it just it may mean that I need you to that's where you can help compliment me in that area. Likewise. If you're that person, I compliment you in that area. So it's really about understanding the what you have and how to make the dynamics work. Um, Because 
you know, there's no two people that are identical. If two people are identical, yeah. that makes somebody obsolete. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So and I, I you know, for true. me, it's the honesty thing. And that's where, where you, you, you brought up a good point there where you said that in relationships, people are actors and they're playing a role and what they're, what they're doing is not at, at, at some point, like you said, the relationship transitions and yet everybody's on both sides, you know, no one's at fault, but everybody's acting, nobody's telling the truth. And so what you do is you start to create the, the dramatic situations where one po person's pointing the finger and then you, you can use things like money or, or as ways to uh, escape being honest and actually it, it, it seems to be a big challenge in relationships. It's just both sides, honesty. Transparency is so so key, um, being transparent. But you, I think you have to know. You, it's like Kenny. You, yeah, you have to know when we're at that level that we have this conversation now. You don't want to keep waiting. You know, you keep waiting, keep waiting. You're three years in, four years in, five years in, and you still haven't had that conversation. You have to. You have to know when it's when it's deemed the appropriate time to have that conversation now I can't tell you when that time is the two of you have to know that when when it's the appropriate time to have that conversation because obviously you're still there so the possibility of this maturing and uh, growing and and sprouting and becoming something there's a great possibility so at some point we have to have that conversation because Let's say I really, really lack in that area, but you may flourish in that area. So now, how do we bring the two together to make it work? Because it's all about complementing again and competing. Mm -hmm. So you don't say, oh, well, you never pay your bills on time. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to chase this. <laughs> it's, again, it's how you say what you say, because you can get a man to do anything you want him to do. So do you believe one should try to change another one especially in those uh, common sense area as you mentioned small thing as uh, make up the bed it, uh, obviously the bed is uh, neat and tidy so it's, it's uh, look clean it's good for the man too but uh, if the man does not have that kind of a habit should the woman change men first of all you do something first of all, you to can't, be beneficial you, 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 you can't change them you, I mean people go into situations thinking I'm gonna change them a person has to want to change has but now has a person yes. has to want to change maybe a better way of wording what you said is maybe, maybe let's can i give him a reason to want, want to, change. to change yeah to give the reason yeah make him want to change yes yeah not to make him change you can't make him right. wanting to yeah change. give him a reason Changing to want to change first, yes always yeah so you do agree so people do changeable in in a important way, like a common sense way, I think it should. If you see something obviously not right, it's not really wrong and right, but it can be much better. You just don't say, "Oh, I'm good with this. He's very lousy. This but it's okay because I will do it. I will do it for him." The it, two it of you, I know that this one can go on for a very long time. <laughs> However, <laughs> we are near the end of this week's edition. <laughs> just Reggie, will you let the audience know how they can learn more about your workshops? Yes. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, go to www. One man does w o n man w o n m a n woman w o m a n. So that's one man woman. Dot com. All the information is there. Ladies, the 21 day challenge is there for you. Please download the book, um, the, the workbook and the book as well. And if you do it today, of course, we're going to give you a special combo price because you saw this. You've seen this on the Guy Dawson show. Relationships are always hot topics. And thank you so <laughs> much, illustrious Quan, for coming and co-hosting again. Yeah, thank you, uh, Guy Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richie. Oh, just Please nice. like yeah. us on Facebook and visit the website, classycommunications.net. We will see you next week.